Hi teammates, we have something new for you this year. And you know, we're all surely going through a lot in our daily grind and maybe even extra because of this pandemic. So the Gold Diggers is bringing you the Mental Health Minute in partnership with Project Steady, a mental health initiative of Rock Ed Philippines. On Thursdays, we'll be sharing with you some simple exercises that we can do every day to help take care of our mental health one minute at a time. And we're very grateful that we have a special gold digger bringing this to you. She's the founder and executive director of Rocket Philippines. She's a fellow of the Trauma Research Institute and a specialist in trauma recovery. And she's Product Seti's lead therapist. It's an honor to be working with her on this. Here's the one and only Gang Kapati. Uh, you gotta start with music, right? <laughs> Hello, Simone! Oh my gosh, so nice to see you, even if it's just on Zoom. You know, Simone and I were roommates in Singapore for a week. And then I have this theory, we have this theory, you know, as humans, when you see another person in another place, you are immediately bonded. So I did not just see Simone in, in Davao several times. I also spent a week with her in the same room, slept with her in Singapore. Yes, and you know, that alone makes us bound together. So it's really, really a comfort that it was Simone that introduced me. So this is your Mental Health Minute with Gold Diggers. I, I'm not sure why I'm part of this, but here I am. And this is your Mental Health Minute from Project Steady. Project Steady is a mental health initiative that I started, and it all its only goal is to help us manage our mood and go steady. Okay, so this is the Mental Health Minute. Are you ready? Okay. When I say mental health, people always think it's mood. When you hear mental health, you always think, oh, it must be mood. And usually you default to sad or depressed or etc. While that's true, mood is merely a key component of mental health because your mood is actually an indicator of your mental health. Because mental health is actually, if you have physical health, you know when you have a headache, a stomach ache, alam mo kung, kung you know, parang nagkakalagnat na ako. You're actually very, very aware of your physical health. You know when you're gaining weight and you know when you're not. And you know when you're like, oh, okay, I'm getting abs. So physically, you are super in touch and aware, uh, you know, about your men physical health. Mental health is exactly somewhere there, except it's more, you know, it's concentrated in the brain. And it's a lot of signals, a lot of neurotransmissions. It's actually not separate. Because if you th think about it, whatever your mental state is can actually command your physical state and when you're physically moving there's more signals that send to your mental health so i don't think they're separate at all so what do we cover what do we cover in the mental health minute for gold diggers it would be mm, a little bit of mental health first aid so, okay if you're uncomfortable with the term mental health i'm gonna tell you now we all have mental health okay it's not just who's mentally ill or who's mentally well so because you know as humans we're not just spectacular or just depressed there's a whole number line it's like you have to picture it like there's no on off switch on mental wellness there is a dimmer you know you know those old school 70s lamps where there's a dimmer or a, you know a volume button so it's not on or off so in our every thursday we will have this mental health minute we will cover a little bit on mental health and the first aid when you have emotional an emotional instance where you actually need oh addressing then we'll cover that and we will all <laughs> i love this slide i love this slide it actually says reps and i spent the whole day trying to think of a very clever abbreviation for reps and i did come up with a i didn't come up with one <laughs> sorry but 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 do you know as athletic people, formerly athletic people, aspirationally athletic people, you know that uh, the big difference between getting fit and getting super elite fit would be the reps. So repetition. So, but let's try. Let's try an abbreviation. Repetition. Make sure that you repeat things or, or have a ritual around it. Oh, I just thought of that now. Isn't that great? Ritual. Build a ritual around your mental wellness. E could be set the environment. I mean, why will you bring yourself into an environment that will make you 
triggered, I suppose. We love slash hate that word. And you have to set the environment, control as much as you can because most of the time we can't control the environment. Pero yung kaya natin in control that will make us happy, uh, go. And you know, one example of this is you go to places that make you happy. You know, some, for some, it's like, the sunken garden in UP. For some, it's the field in at Bell Field in Ateneo, or, or the park. I don't know. In a mask with a face shield, <laughs> six feet apart, of course, as I say. And P. Oh, my favorite word is P. Starts with P. Many of my favorite words start with P. But the P here would be uh, practice. Please always remember, practice makes every difference. Okay, so it's not perfection, but practice. So, and then the S is, uh, you know, shit, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have an S. Ooh, let's think of something. Drop the bullshit, I suppose. <laughs> Basta, in mental wellness, the picture here right now actually shows you the components of a mentally hygienic person. If you have body hygiene, there is also brain hygiene. Body hygiene needs shampoo, conditioner, sabon. I love sabon, by the way. I make soap. And, uh, you know, deodorant. Uh, whatever it is that you need to uh, pomada, meron pa bang nagpapomada? <laughs> anyway, uh, you have a toiletry kit to have to keep your body hygienic and etc. The brain, you know what? It's everything here on this icon um, cluster. There's exercise there. There's like uh, there's exercise. There's vegetables. There's movement, obviously. So that is what makes it up. So we will also cover parts of what reps are needed to be mentally healthy on Thursdays. And then the next would be, you know, I'm actually the uh, a, a psychotherapist for a few of the elite athletes. And unofficially, <laughs> I was also some sort of psychotherapist to my nephew who was an elite athlete. Miguel Molina is a swimmer. So part of my goal as a, as a, as a psychotherapist, it not, it's not just to keep you steady or to keep you um, regulated, your moods, but I also want you mentally strong. Because sometimes your mental grit that will make all the difference in your life talaga. So hopefully, um, if you stay tuned in, you know, and see and watch Gold Diggers as often as you can, do not miss an episode because every Thursday, there's a Mental Health Minute by me of Project Steady. Let's build your brain. So who here's your Mental Health Minute tip for the week. Okay? Because it's about the brain, I need to tell you. Anytime this week, you can see the slide anyway, I don't need to read it. Anytime, you don't have to do it every day, even just once from this Thursday to next Thursday. When you remember, as soon as you open your eyes, do not stand up yet. Okay, don't do it quickly because that gives me headaches. Do you get headaches when you stand up quick? I do. So what you're going to do is you wake up and the first thing you're going to have to do is fake a smile like this. Like you really fake a smile. You know when you used to fake a smile for your grade school picture, like smile, and then you just, just show your teeth. You're just going to have to do that, even just for like five seconds. And there's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason for this. Because mental health is really about signals to the brain. And signals to the brain is neurotransmission, and it's really hormones. And when I say hormones, you almost immediately think ovaries and women. But actually, hormones is actually the signals and the chemicals in our brain. And I'm sure you've heard of this because you've Googled more than usual, um, dopamine, oxytocin, etc. When your muscles, your cheek muscles move into a smile, it sends a memory message to your brain that, hey, this is how my muscles feel, my cheeks feel when I'm happy. Am I happy? So you kind of confuse your brain a bit. So I don't know if this will work for you, or maybe it won't, but still, let's give it a shot because, you know, uh, mental health is a lot of signals your body can send to your brain and you can aid it. And that's that's really just it. So try to remember, it's my bigger face now because we're done with the slideshow. Try to remember to do it this week. Kahit once lang. And I'll say this, that exercise is super simple and you can just like do the fake smile. And then <laughs> more often than not, you'll end up laughing and... <laughs> How bad a day would that be if you started laughing at yourself, right? So pretty much, that's actually a summary of good mental health. You can laugh at yourself. So this has been your mental health minute for now. This is your like ribbon cutting first 
first episode. Um, my name is Gang. I'm a psychotherapist with Project Steady, also a member of Team Gold Diggers. So I'll see you again on Thursday. Try to smile, fake it, and then we'll do it. All it takes is a minute. Sometimes bad decisions also take a minute. And so the good minutes and so the good decisions. So take that minute, take that mental health minute.